In this episode, experience the power of I am. How changing your thoughts will change your life. Aloha, everyone, and welcome to your podcast for joyful serenity. My name is Pia, and I am grateful to be a part of your journey in becoming. How often have you used the sentence... I am a work in progress. Or maybe you have heard it before. I am a work in progress. I'm a huge fan of affirmations because I know how strong they can be. And over the course of the last years where I have really dug deeper into my abilities and my strength as a psychological counselor and healer, I have really explored the deeper connection of the stories we're telling ourselves and how we identify with words. So they do have a strong, a very, very strong and, and powerful, um, yeah, way of influencing our lives. Do you agree? Words are powerful. So are the stories that we tell ourselves. For example, the saying, I am a work in progress. Most of you who have used the sentence before, uh, I, I'm counting myself into that too, probably have used it in a very positive way. I am a work in progress. Maybe a little bit optimistic, definitely looking forward. But maybe also, I am a work in progress, reminding ourselves on the imperfections and the feeling of never being actually done, never being complete always something missing, never reaching the end or the top or whatever it is. So if you think about it and if you feel about it a little bit, this sentence, maybe repeat it, maybe, maybe form the words behind your eyes, in your head, but maybe also speak it and speak it out loud. I am a work in progress. As things always only have the meaning we give to them, this could definitely be something very motivating for some of you. Knowing that there's always something new to explore, I am a work in progress. It's okay not to be perfect or complete. But the thing is, I am means you are identifying with whatever follows. Now, just take a moment and think about all the I am's you are using in your head, talking to yourself, or maybe also using around you when you're with your family with your partner, with your friends, with your co-workers. How do these I am's sound like? What I am's do you have? What I am's do you use very often? And I really want to invite you to be honest with yourself. And it's totally okay if what you're telling yourself is not the most optimistic or positive or whatever. It's just important to take some time without judgment to look inside yourself if you want to. <laughs> That's always the most important thing. If you want to change something that's outside of you, you have to change what's inside of you. And the first step in doing this is acknowledging what already is, and what you're telling yourself. 
So for example, when you're telling yourself, I am a work in progress, the association you have with work will form whatever you identify with. So if you, for example, say work is hard and tough and you don't really like it and it's just there because you need the money, then maybe I am a work in progress is not the best, help, most helpful and divine I am <laughs> you can form in your head, right? If you associate work with fun and fulfillingness and joyfulness, then maybe I am a work in progress means something very positive to you. The things always have the meaning that we give to them. And these sayings are something you can change. These sayings are often beliefs because what you tell yourself, what you believe yourself is your truth. And sometimes we are not really cautious about the, the things, the beliefs that we carry around with ourselves because often they are collective. So maybe collective beliefs like um, you have to work hard to earn money. This is something that I have experienced all around the world. And nobody knows who said that sentence before, like first, who, wh where did they get it from? From their parents. Where did they get it from? From their parents. Yeah. So nobody knows where it started, but at some point, somebody said this sentence, made it up and people took that sentence and repeated it. And so it got passed on from generation to generation to generation. So right now, what I experienced for myself, because I found out that I also do had, I had this limiting belief of I have to work hard to be successful. And I have to be in pain to be successful. It has to feel hard to be successful. These were all beliefs that I held in my system which made it hard for me to, to celebrate success in, in ease and being relaxed and not feeling that it's hard. And maybe you have some of these beliefs that come into your mind now too. Maybe it's in your, in your family and your parents told you, um, this is something we're not doing. So if you want to become this and that, you have to do this and that. And at some point, you believe what others say. And it helps you to navigate through your life. But sometimes maybe you're coming to a point where you ask if this is really it. If this is true. And what I learned during the last years is that truth is something very, very subjective. So for me, it's always important to acknowledge my own thoughts and feelings and also the ones from others. Knowing that I can rewrite my story and I can rewrite my beliefs. And just because somebody else believes it, it is not mine. So if somebody else says you can't do it, It's what they say. It's not what I say. So I can make a different decision. And now you know that someone once made this up, whatever it is, you can change that story and really focus on what is true for you and then build your system of values around that. What is true for you? Why is that true for you? I heard a very, very powerful um, sentence when I heard the opera um, podcast, Super Soul Conversations. It's a great episode. I will put this in the show notes so you can, um, you can jump on and listen to it because it has made a huge impact and just made me uh, yeah, open my mouth in awe about all the beautiful, lovely wisdom that is shared in this episode with Bishop T.D. Jakes on Opera's Super Soul Conversations. 
I will put it in the show notes. And the quote that I'm sharing now with you is so powerful. And I had to write it down. So now I'm sharing it with you and I hope it serves you. Whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you. I repeat, whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you. Now, whatever follows I am is going to come looking for you. And this is your decision. So be cautious and very specific about what you tell yourself you are because you identify yourself with this. And if you want to identify with this, it's fine, okay? So I just want you to know, you don't have to uh, now just stop saying I am angry or I am hungry or I am whatever. Just be mindful in using this because using it with I am stressed and I'm so tired and stuff like this, it is going to come looking for you. It's like you're agreeing. You're agreeing to be tired and you're agreeing on being stressed. You are giving permission to something. And I totally agree that giving permission to being angry and being sad, all of this has a has an absolute the right to be, okay? So there's no way I'm telling you don't do it. I'm just asking you to be cautious about the way you use these two words because they are so powerful. And if you want to change the story, you have to start inside your head. So listen with love, no judgment to your thoughts because your thoughts will create a certain feeling and these feelings will lead to certain actions. So if you want to change the actions, however you behave and whatever you create, you have to start on the inside with your thoughts. And your thoughts are not your enemy and you are not your thoughts and you are not your feelings. You are the pure consciousness that is experiencing these feelings. Let me ask you, who is thinking the thoughts that you're having right now? This is you. This is your pure soul. This is your consciousness. With that knowing, you know that feelings come and go and thoughts come and go. And you can change the story you're telling yourself by changing your thoughts and elevating your feelings and then make different actions. I'm sending you all my love, a big hug <laughs> via microphone. Stay happy and healthy. And thank you for listening to this episode. If you feel like this is something a friend of you would like to hear or needs to hear right now, feel free to share. And also, thank you for reviewing and rating this podcast on Apple Podcasts if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much and hear you next time. Bye.